What are some examples of some healthier foods that are monocrops that you believe we could be more of a regenerative? Well, cacao is the biggest one. Cacao is your big one you're focused on right now. Yeah, cacao, I want that. So we ha we, we're we going to have the ceremonial cacao. That's going to be regenerative. The other people for the, uh, the other lines of cacao that we're taking right now, they're going to be farmer cooperatives. We know that much. I don't know if they're regenerative, but I know they're not like big companies that do that regenerative. So tell like, me the, or, or tell the us monocrop. the difference between what you would say is the best quality cacao or the cheapest cacao. Well, there's a lot of cheap cacao. Basically 5% of the cacao in the world is called fine aroma cacao. 65% of that fine aroma of that little sliver, 65% of that origin or, or species that's in ecuador so and that's where cacao originated from is ecuador uh we have the evidence of that so the cacao and why it's actually really important to not like support big bar brands, which you know who they are. I don't need to call them out. But a lot of cacao coming from West Africa, these documentaries, a lot of it's slave trade, unfortunately. And if it's not exactly like the finest slave trade, in the documentaries, you can see these people get paid less than like a dollar an hour to do this work, to do manual labor. And cacao grows in very humid, uh, tropical environments. So you're going out into the forest and you're chopping these cacao pods down. You're chopping them open. So the anyway, yeah, with the machete, exactly. Exactly. That's who the big bar brands, that's where they're getting their cacao from. They're getting it from West Africa, and that's right. where they're, they're not really treating the farmers very well. And I'm sure they do some of that in South America, too. The, like, the big differences between this like high-quality cacao, low-quality cacao, and what we call a ceremonial cacao, starting with the low quality, is that it's bitter. Chocolate's not supposed to be bitter. It's supposed to have a little bit of bitterness, but when you find the really high-quality ceremonial cacao, you'll find that it's not bitter at all, even with no sugar added added with nothing else added when it's just the the cacao powder which is just cacao beans and it's it's ground and processed and it's it's pulverized into a powder when and you have to take the butter out of course but when you have a very good origin it's not going to be bitter the low quality cacao is bitter so they have to mask it and they have to mask it with sugar different ingredients and you won't really get a lot of the cacao flavor but then you take it a step up you go to the fine aroma cacao and that's what we have been selling but some of it has been a monocrop we're trying to go to the co farmer cooperatives what ceremonial cacao you've now the ceremonial, yeah, that's that's the best, and that's that's what does that mean? unadulterated cacao. Okay, as in nothing's been done to it. So it's it's single origin, as in like they harvested it, they didn't take the butter out of that, they didn't take the fat out of that cacao. So it's like a cacao powder that I I think is fifty percent something like that, fifty percent fat. Like it's very creamy and it's very fruity in the aroma, and you can smell it like immediately, like you did actually. Yeah, yeah I, did. I actually I, I mentioned.